The title of this Bible study today is called Bold in Our God to Speak the Gospel. In our last session, Paul noted that many were reached by the th spread abroad faith of the Thessalonian believers and caused those who heard it and believed to recognize the manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. In other words, the witness of the Thessalonians added to the reputation of Paul and his company regarding their conduct among them and the proof of his ministry as though they had turned from being idol worshippers to servants of the only true and living God. With this noted, Paul continues, For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you, that it was not in vain, but even after that we had suffered before, and were shamefully entreated, as you know, at Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. 1 Thessalonians 2 verses 1 to 2 KJV A short reading today but packed with a powerful message to the members of the church which is his body. Let's take a look. Paul continues to talk of his manner of entrance, which evidently means that methods matter when it comes to presenting the gospel of the grace God. Some translations seem to put the emphasis on the hearers, example, reception of the hearers instead of entrance by the speakers, but this changes the whole content, context, again, we should be careful what translation you base your doctrinal beliefs upon. Paul says that their entrance or approach to presentation of the gospel was not in vain, and goes on to explain that even after their having come from Philippi, Acts 16 verses 12 to 34, where they had been beaten, whipped, and jailed, they still felt free to be bold in Thessalonica. And the result of this spirit of boldness is that they were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. The boldness had two impacts. One, those who believed, consorted with Paul and Silas, Acts 17 verse 4, and two, the Jews which believed not were moved with envy and tried to find Paul and Silas, settling for taking security money from those who had hosted them, the same who thereafter sent Paul and Silas by night into Berea, Acts 17 verse 5. Regardless of reception that Apostle Paul has modeled how we, as ambassadors for Christ, are to be bold in our God to speak the gospel. And we do this knowing that how the gospel is received is not our job, but the job of the Holy Spirit, who convicts the world, lost, of sin and shows the believer of their righteousness. John 16 verses 7 to 11. Remember, neither you or I are the Holy Spirit, rather we are simply ambassadors commissioned to share the gospel of grace with a world that needs to hear and believe. Holy Spirit alone can convict and guide the lost to salvation, so present the gospel in spirit and in truth. Believer, be bold in our God to speak the gospel. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.